My name is Parth. I am a second year mechatronics engineering student at the University of Waterloo. I am currently interning at Tesla as a software engineer working on the energy systems, as well as um, a product manager at a startup called Personify. So today I'll be talking about a few different things, a little bit about my background, I'll talk about you know, the different places I've interviewed, my experience with interviews, what kind of things you can do to get good interviews as well, and um, kind of just how you approach the entire process and you know go on from there. So before I begin, I'd like to say that the opinions in this video are of my own and they're not of Tesla or Personify, and I am an independent entity when I give this information out. So first off, I am, uh, I've, I've interviewed and you know in interned at different places, a um, few of them being SAP Labs, I uh, was an IoT developer there working more on the hardware side of things, um, doing hardware prototyping. Um, then my next co-op or internship was at Ritual, which is a uh, food app where I was doing QA and data analytics, a little bit of scripting work as well. And um, next was Deloitte, and Deloitte, I was doing natural language processing, machine learning, and software engineering, more from the back-end perspective. And then I made the transition to where, I'm at, where I am today, at Tesla, where I'm working on energy systems, um, doing functional programming, working with um, cloud technology, and a lot of other cool stuff. Um, so, you know, like, on LinkedIn or anytime you kind of meet someone, e even if when you're seeing me right now, all you see is, you know, all these different places I've worked. But what a lot of people kind of miss is it takes time and a lot of effort to kind of get to these positions. So, you know, how, how do you go about um, putting in the effort and how do you go about getting these positions so that you can further your career? Um, and and I'll, I'd like to give you a little bit of more of a background before I kind of jump into the how. Um, maybe just to put in perspective about you know the time that it took to get to where I am and like the amount of effort that I had to put in. So um, my my internship at SAP um, actually was in grade 12 of high school. So I've always been very ambitious. Um, I knew going into Waterloo, I will have a lot of competition in terms of just other people who are super super smart, people who've been coding um, since you know they were born basically, and um, I. It, it was definitely a lot of uh, imposter syndrome going on, but uh, I, I kind of made myself uh, get this internship in high school. It was unpaid, but I got a really good learning experience and that kind of has been triggering um, a lot of my uh, interviews, even even up to now. Um, and to be honest, like even Tesla, like this time that I got it, because I it was like a kind of, I we are eventually interfacing with IoT kind of stuff, so it, there, is a relation even there so you know the effort that you put in early on really transfers perpetually and you know sometimes you're like oh my god this was such a waste that I was doing hardware now I'm in software doesn't have any connection trust me there's a, there's a lot of things which you don't really understand um, on a very surface level but because you have that kind of experience it will go into whatever kind of new thing that you're tackling um, but anyways I digress um, so before, so SAP Labs was kind of my first proper internship, and then I went into Waterloo. I actually, my first term at Waterloo, pretty much like a month and a half in, I had the chance to interview for Tesla, actually. And I interviewed on the hardware team um, for as a hardware test engineer, working on um, their power packs, I believe, their, their hardware stuff, uh, more on the clean energy side of things. And that was, Clean energy has always kind of been my main passion. That's sort of where I've always grinded to be at. Um, not, if not a Tesla, you know, uh, wherever I could be to be uh, moving Earth or, or our, our countries into a more sustainable future. And so Tesla has obviously kind of been the end goal, but I had the chance to interview in my first year, pretty much one and a half months out of high school. And it, w it was a crazy experience. I remember sitting in my chemistry exam, not being able to focus because I got the call for the second interview, um, which is like second interview, my last interview. And so that, that was pretty crazy. Yeah, I did fail that exam because I could not focus at all. 
but it, I got the call literally minutes before my uh, exam started. So it, it was really, really crazy. Um, so I made it to the last round, didn't get the job. And then honestly, that just kind of lit a fire under me. And I was like, you know what, part of you think that you're good, but you're not. And that just made me grind harder than ever. And it helped me get to where I am today. And I have a few tips to kind of, you know, how do you even get these interviews or how do you kind of, you know, finish on these interviews now that I've gotten decently better at it? Um, you know, how, how do you get the interviews, one thing, but then how do you finish on the interview and make sure you get the job? So um, let, let's dive into that. Um, I, I feel like side projects are the first thing that you should probably be doing. Side projects allow you to kind of show your knowledge in a specific industry. Um, without actually having a job, right? So whether you do this side project through a hackathon, it's hackathons are usually, you know, like 24 to 36 hours. I don't know how many hackathons are happening anymore with COVID-19 going on. However, um, you could always do side projects on your own and kind of, you know, build a fully fledged product, um, which you kind of push out. Um, I, I always say, you know, if you're making a side project, have it done in a way where people can see um, what you've built so let's say if you're making an iOS app, you know, make sure you kind of pu publish it onto the app store so people can download it and it, you can actually have like very useful metrics to showcase on your resume. Um, as well as if you are making a web app, publish that web app, put it on the internet, you know, see how many clicks you get, see, see if it's impacting anybody and then use those metrics as a way to kind of tell people how good you are. So. Those are two things you should, you know, be doing to improve your skills and build your skills to get these jobs. Um, next thing I'd say is, you know, you have to be reaching out to people on LinkedIn. Um, if you have internal job posting sites like Waterloo does, um, I'm sure that there's a lot of good companies over there. But you kind of have to leverage and build a personal connection with a lot of these people who are going to be interviewing you. Because if you think about it, the person you're interviewing with is most likely going to be one of your coworkers. So the better you can vibe with them, the better your chances are of get, securing that job. So reach out to recruiters, reach out to managers and kind of build that personal connection um, where you can sort of say, hey, I'd love to learn more about your position. Let's chat, let's, um, you know, let's get on a 30 minute call and see um, how your day to day is. And then you sort of build this connection up and the next time you're looking for an internship, you reach out to these people again and they sort of know that you've kind of already put in the effort to reach out to them earlier on and have that connection going on. So definitely, you know, keep track of these connections and, you know, reach out to people to learn more about the positions. And then you can even ask things such as, you know, how do I become an ideal um, intern for the company or how do I become an ideal candidate that you would want to hire? And that would basically help you, you know, one, prepare yourself, but then two, it also showcases that you've been working towards what they've asked you to work towards. Um, at Tesla, it's very team specific and you interview for specific teams and each team has a different kind of interview process, which is very correlated to your day to day work, um, like for some teams at least. And sometimes they'll just ask you generic questions. So it really varies and it's pretty much across the board. Um, however, I think in most companies, they're looking for passion, a passion about the mission statement, passion about, uh, you know, kind of how you're going to be helping their company. So for me, I, you know, Tesla has some really sick cars. Yes. And, you know, a lot of people would kill to work there. But for me, working at Tesla is not for the cars. It's It was always and it has always been for the clean energy aspect of things. And so. I wanted to work in Tesla, but not just work on in Tesla. Like I wanted to be working on the clean energy side of uh, Tesla. So that definitely showed through my interview as I was, you know, just talking about it, get super passionate. So that's one thing that, you know, almost everybody's looking for. Are you passionate about what you're talking about? Are you passionate about the company's goals, the company's kind of mission statement that, you know, everybody's working towards? So that that's a big thing. You know, skill is one thing, but then also being able to show that passion is really huge and it can definitely set you aside from interviews, um, set you aside from other people during interviews. Um, so I talked about, you know, building these side projects, but then the next big thing that I want to say is you need to be talking to other people about these side projects. You need to be kind of, you need to be super vocal about it because you can build the best shit in the world and no one knows about it. It doesn't matter, right? Like 
let, let's take Tesla's example. If Tesla was building all these crazy cars um, and then, you know, not telling anyone about them, not, you know, not, not going out and showcasing the world what they have, nobody would give a shit. Like, okay, cool, it's an electric car, nice. Or let's say if we're talking about um, Google's new stuff or Apple, Apple's new iPhones, right? Every time they have to, they launch um, an iPhone or just new Apple products, you have WWDC where they go out and you know, kind of say all the cool stuff that's happening at their company. And that's what gets people hyped. That's what, you know, people really want. Um, and they, they get super engrossed with what's going on at Apple. So you kind of have to think about yourself as a brand and as a company and how you're pitching to uh, pitching yourself to employers and how are you putting yourself out there? What is your brand image? Um, so this is a little bit more marketing side of things, but it definitely applies to how you position yourself and how you're putting yourself out there. Um, so utilizing LinkedIn or Medium is a super good, is a super good platform. Um, if you're talking about even technical topics, like let's say you want to write about software engineering, or if you want to chat about, if you want to write about the project that you made, you know, make a Medium article about it. Give them the steps on kind of how they can follow along and how they can build the same thing, or you know, give them your takeaways. You can use LinkedIn and Medium in so many different ways where you're you you're actually utilizing a platform to not only showcase. Um, your knowledge to your peers, but also to recruiters and managers who are in your network and people who are constantly looking to give people internships, but you know, they're, they're always waiting to uh, kind of have you reach out to them and they're waiting to see good talent. And this is how you show that you're good talent. Um, and then that, that, that's, I think, kind of sums up uh, pretty much everything I wanted to talk about um, in terms of internships. Um, finally, I'd like to say that, you know, if you want to get in touch with me, you can shoot me a message on LinkedIn. Um, and my friend and I have also, my friend Neil, uh, who's an EPM intern at Apple, uh, we, we both kind of launched this platform called Augment. Augment is a platform to help students just like you watching this video, um, help them out with software engineering internships, with product management, teach you guys about product management, machine learning, and pretty much anything that's new happening. Um, we have a crazy, crazy, crazy team. We uh, have PM interns from Google, Facebook, Apple. Um, we have software engineering interns from Tesla, Twitter, and Uber. We So we have a very stack team. So you know what? Check us out on LinkedIn and make sure to follow us and we'll or even reach out to me we, we do coffee chats um pretty often have office hours going on so you know you could drop by and give us a shout thanks